Okay. Do we have yeah. a quorum? Yes. All in favor of this meeting coming to order, please um, raise your hand. Aye. Wait, no. Yeah. All opposed, say nay. Nay. Okay, the ayes. Ayes have it. Okay, now that, we've, boys. now that we've handled this, I'm, I guess we'll figure out how to start this. What session is this? This Word session Word. is, uh, what was the name of it again? WordPress. Uh, Word, Indifying your, indie webifying your WordPress. Excellent. Maybe right. we should ask the attendees what they are interested in actually learning. That might be you're, a good thing. You're leading me to the next question. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Making people other than me talk is my primary goal in yes. the meeting I'm conducting. Excellent. excellent. Should we have an etherpad for this? Or? We can. I, I think you just need to hand up to my one. <laughs> uh, how about, we, we at least need to take notes of some kind. I don't think they necessarily need to be shared with the world afterwards. Well, the etherpad is nice because it can be wiped afterwards. So basically Wait, any, ether, name you, ether pad. Any, any name you put in, like let's say Indie Word. Indie Web Dash WordPress. Who's, who's doing it? Indie Web. Doug's Let's all do it at once. Yeah, Doug's and doing see what it happens. at the same name with the same it's name. It's supposed to be a distributed program, right? Yeah, so everybody can be in there simultaneously. And we're doing it's AdWeb dash WordPress is probably the easiest. Is that what you did? Yep. That's sweet. <laughs> I don't okay. see any typing. Um, it's supposed to automatically appear. We're all up in that document. Okay. Uh, oh, now I see typing happening. Okay. So since we have a basically round structure in the room, why don't we start at one end and move all the way to the other end? So that puts the two people who are not visible on camera as the first people who have to call. I mean, if I was forced to move, then I'm going to. In the spirit of keeping this on time, though, I'm putting time boxes so each person has. Okay. Them. So I just, one minute. Is, is the goal here just kind of yeah. the table, right? Yeah. Yeah. So just to see what where everybody is. So let's say what do we have an hour? Uh, let's see. To 11 o'clock. 50, 50 minutes. So we have 50 minutes. So let's just say no more than two minutes per person. Yes. Right. So what do you want? What, what are the parameters? You Just basically, um, why you what brings you into this room and what are you interested in doing over the course of the day that is related to WordPress since that's the general topic. All right. So I have... I and have, your name. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm John um, I, I use We use WordPress extensively on commercial side and then incorporate microforms in various ways. But I have my own personal side that is just plain old HTML. With my formats, not my formats to in there, and it's like, and the, the, it's basically, I, I don't update it that much because the pain points of going in and marking it up and everything and stuff. So I really want to just take that learn WordPress and see what how much the heavy lifting can be done using you know plugins and, and, and so forth and so on. So, so my, my writing is sort of a static website that had years that I update sporadically to a WordPress based one. It gets me all the goodness, but hopefully less impediment to me doing it. Less, but not none. No, not zero, yeah. but like, you know. But, and then the automatic stuff that can be pulled in as well is part of that. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so since we're going first with the invisible people, you're the other invisible person then. Okay. Um, that's the objective. Number one, I have a... Sorry, your name? Uh, your, I'm Johannes. Uh -huh. uh, I have an um, WordPress site with some Indiebook plugins, which is a little ancient and I need to update. And I want to figure out what's the best way to do this in 2017. And number two, as you have heard, I have a Linux distro that is supposed to make it really easy to do these kind of things uh, for um, normal people. I'd like to have all the pieces in that distro available so somebody can spend uh, set up a new work for you in the indie verified WordPress site in about one minute uh, from the get-go. You you you're responsible for the distro or yes. What which one is it? Uh, U boss. U B O S. U U boss dot net. So I want to make sure that I have all the plugins and everything and it's ready to go based on whatever the current best state of the art is, which is up to me. I have stuff like I've mentioned plugins and stuff like that, but there might be things that I missed. Okay, so that now brings us to the two individuals who are the first two on camera. I'm going backwards. Okay. Um, also both wearing basically the same color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like bookending okay, it. Yeah. Um, I have a very simple slash complicated problem I'm trying to figure out, and that's all I want to figure out, which is I'm doing check-ins via if from Foursquare, and I have a maps display issue, and I don't understand it. And it's not following normal logical behave the same all the time computer rules, so that's it. That's all, that's all I want to solve. It's going from Foursquare to your blog or to Microsoft? Well, no. No. I, no. I, 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 yeah, it's using if. 
Uh, four squared by FTT yeah, to like WordPress yeah. via something we don't know what. Probably via WordPress six or RPC if you add it. Most likely because there's a integration yeah. with, for that. So the question is how, how are they getting the map, which probably explains the problem. Something is breaking. Okay. And it, but it's not broken all the time, which is worse, actually. Indeed. Would you consider abandonment as an option? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't want to abandon check-in. No, not a, 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 of the IFTTT methodology. To I, I am robust. very willing to abandon IFTT. It is my least favorite solution to the problem. But well, I also seem to like own your swarm. I hear good things. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think the problem with own your swarm right now is that there's no check-in post type on Foursquare or on WordPress. Working on it. Yeah. That brings us to you. Uh, I would like to cede my time to the lady because I'm here to help everybody else. That's that's my. I don't run WordPress, but at DreamHost, that's the thing we do basically. So I'm actually interested in learning what everybody else is struggling with, so that I can maybe make that easier when people come to WordPress at DreamHost and click the button and just get it to work and just wait. So that's the idea. I would pay you money for that. Yeah, I think a lot of people would. <laughs> tens and tens of people. We would be making so much money. <laughs> yeah, so that since we're going this way, that would bring uh, you're in the back there. I'm Ryan. I'm here to help. There you go. And the two of you would go next. Well, I'm going, but if I continue to type. Um, my name's Jean uh, McDonald, and uh, doing my other things, micro dot blog. Um, I'm here because I did. Um, I did restart my blog in the spring on WordPress on DreamHost, and then it just got forked somehow, and everything that I did went away, and I haven't had the heart to start over again. And I'm, I would like to um, start if I'm going to start over with uh, the customizations and getting the integration with Micro.blog. I want to do like the, I'm interested in like what are the steps like, you know, indifying your WordPress blog, you know, maybe for somebody who's just starting to do it again, because that's actually me, so. Uh, I think I'm here to help and learn. Um, I actually created a Docker instance. You could, if, if you want to run WordPress locally, uh, you can. Uh, if anyone is not ready to, or doesn't have hosting or something, I'll put it out there. It would be less, so, but not less. Sorry, but not this year. Thank you. I came to anywhere 2014. Uh, got started, uh, consulted in press, got discouraged and stopped. So I am here to re indify my site, but I'm also screen capturing everything and documenting my process because the goal is to take what I learned and apply it to the anywhere so that we can kind of make it easier for other people. Uh, as a separate sub point, uh, I think it's impossible to divorce the need to identify it with what your content goals are, which is not in any way. Yes, right. So, 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 so just as a, as a framing mechanism, I need a responsive site. I chose Simpress because you guys told me to. But because I did Simpress, I created a child theme to fix all the things that bug me about it. And that creates a of other issues. And so, so it's uh, quite complicated, I think, to to get all the pieces working correctly. Um, again, I don't want you guys to help me with child themes. I'm just giving you some context as the, the shit I'm getting into. Thank you, thank you. And overnight, there was somebody who posted an article about their experience trying to install everything, which is worth looking at for a lot of different pain points. Um, that's AaronCommand.com. Not the Aaron we have here, but some other Aaron. But it's worth looking at because that was it was fairly opinionated, and a lot of the feedback is worth incorporating. Link in the. Uh, it would, so uh, maybe would be oh, I'm sorry. I'll still there. I'll, I'll okay. Still there. Yeah, I'm gonna. I started. Uh, yeah, feel free to if I yeah. work, uh, mistranslate what you're saying. Feel free to correct it. Uh, Word indie web indie web dash WordPress etherpad.indieweb.org slash indieweb dash WordPress. I also post, put it in the IRC channel. Okay. Uh, so I'm putting that link in. There you want to yourself Okay. Uh, well, my name is David Chansky. Um, those of you who haven't connected, the username that I use in IRC is GWG. 
because I had it on three nodes long before I joined this community and I'm not tuning it now. Um, basically, I do not do enough on my website, which I, I'm told is self-deprecating, but I'll, I'll accept that title. And basically, I do a lot of the indie web plugins for WordPress, either as a contributor or as the primary author. Also, on a good note, overnight, uh, the Semantic Link Facts plugin finally got updated. So it's yeah, cool. cool. Uh, a lot of interesting stuff in there that you won't see, but hopefully you'll see later. And it should have fixed all of those issues about mention not being classified correctly. Awesome. <laughs> if it isn't, I'm sure somebody will open up another issue. So much of this sounds pretty hands-on. Should we split up into maybe a few groups? So a few people who want to start from scratch, a few people who want to update existing ones. Should we split up and maybe pair a little more work on this with people who can help? Well, um, I think maybe we can spend just a couple of minutes. Um, what's the best way to start from scratch today? What's the stuff I should have solved? Because that's sort of goes to, you know, how to update it because I want to end up in 16. Well, I tend to always start with the Indie Web plugin because it suggests all of the other plugins. So now, I have a that is obviously it work, are there things you should look at in certain themes? Is it a recommended theme and don't try and look at any other themes? Because I well, yeah, said there's some conversation. Yeah, there, there, there are two choices in themes. There are ones that already incorporate microformats too, and there are ones that don't. And then there's a helper plugin that tries to sort of automatically oh, right. redo themes, which is not a perfect solution. But you it should probably try to expand. Ones that support microformats two out of the box. Yes, but uh, being as everybody wants their own theme, we tried to come up with something that would allow anybody to do it. So if you actually go into and try to install the indie web theme, and I have a blank site here that I've set up just for the purpose of following along, and install that out of the WordPress plugin repository. Uh, so, so the indie web plugin. Or is the indie web plugin. Like you said, into a theme. Is there any of a theme? Uh, there are themes, but right now, probably the easiest start but is the plugin. Yep. Now, the plugin does actually uh, recommend two themes. There's a getting started page, which has been suggested that we rewrite, because it's sort of texty. So basically, that does give some basic explanation, but it isn't very interactive. What are those themes? Um, independent publisher and SEMPRESS are the two that officially support microphones too. So independent publisher probably looks nicer. Um, SEMPRESS is more geared towards microformats too, where independent publisher was sort of an add-on. An add-on? No, so sort of added on as a oh. secondary thing, whereas SEMPRESS, it was a primary goal. Also, there may be a slight problem because somebody was commenting that there may be a markup issue with it right now, but it's still the best one that we have visually. Something just FYI, I tried to pull the plug in and goes, you have, it hasn't been tested for this version of WordPress. It did. So uh, my first instinct is to kind of go, oh, yeah, no, that's a good point. So every time WordPress has a... Uh, yeah, compa um, compatible up to 4.7.5 or market. So. Oh, he just updated yesterday. I thought he fixed it, but I'll go in and, I just and fix it. I didn't get that. Did you develop the indie web plugin? Uh, no, I'm a contributor. Okay. okay. Is there any, what, what do you do in terms of testing when there's any work to exactly the that point? Uh, basically, one of us tests it, but um, last time it took three months, and just over the weekend, I know Matthias Beverly, who, and I may be mispronouncing his name because I've never actually heard anybody say it out loud. But um, he was in over the weekend automating deployment. So every time we push a stable version to GitHub, it should automatically update the other one, which should make it faster. So he's been doing that for every plugin that we've been working on. So for the warning about it hasn't been tested with this version of WordPress, when I consider, so I think you can go to the, like, you all who own that. Oh, we do actually, you have privileges. Yeah, no, you never access that. Like, Works and then we test it, but yeah, if there's a problem, we fix it. Yeah, but there, we 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 have tested it. It's just a matter of changing the file that says what it's been tested up to. Oh, we can't pick a button. We have to. You have to. Actually, base, are you but, sure you have to do a new release of your plugin? For you don't actually time? have to do a new release. Okay. You can you can basically update an existing release. But, okay, yeah. no, we we should we we take this offline. But yeah, it's historically, what kind of problems have there been? Is there have been any? Just have there haven't been any? We have not. Um, other than bugs with the one feature that the plugin includes, there have been no problems with the plugin. The one feature that the 
plugin includes is basically um, a way to set your identity so that you can log into India, which is um, basically um, to use an, a non indie web term, social icons. So but links to your presence on Cyber. The reason I'm asking is because one of my things about UBOS is it's very good for um, uh, testing automation. So you can spin up a UBOS in a uh, Linux container, deploy WordPress, deploy your in a thing, and run a bunch of basically HTTP tests against it. Um, so if there's any need to automate something, we yeah, be going to help. Okay. At, the, at the moment, we don't have a bug. But it may be a little yeah, off. Uh, yeah. 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 Today is a hands-on day. Why don't we split up into groups and you know, some people can talk about uh, you know, long-term Yeah, there. I mean, as being like um, somebody who's starting from zero and has questions that I could hack around with, but I would like to hear the best way to go about yeah. it. Um, so I've installed the plugin. Now what? I, mean, well, I don't even know what that means. Let's have a group of people that are just starting to plug in together. And, and so take the, what, what we do. Yeah. So I have a fresh install here. Help. Okay, updating I'll help existing stalls over that corner. There's, there's another room over there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. fresh installs, okay, across yeah. the hall. Yes. Updating existing stalls. Well, we have the recording sites. here. We might want to keep the fresh installs in here. Uh, That's well, a good yeah, idea. If we have multiple conversations. Maybe. Uh, I'd be unhappy to have everyone sitting here. Uh, well, I guess the point is, it would be very bad to have. Just, we're bringing stuff since we have two Sundays. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I would fresh install is better to get recorded. I would record the fresh yeah. install right. versus so specific problems. Yeah. 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 And then uh, people want to talk about more developments. Also, I'm going to go to the fresh installs. Yeah. In yeah. order yeah. to hear the fresh installs. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to hang around and try to help anybody across the way. <laughs> because that gives me some help in figuring out what I might want to try to do to help out right. in the long term. That sounds good. David, you want to leave fresh installs or updating I'll, I'll existing stay. ones? I'll stay in there. Okay, so updating existing ones that can get people across the hall. Existing or updating existing WordPress installs over there. Sure. Fresh installs right here. So, do we want to like pick someone to be the? Uh, I'm doing it right now. You're doing it right now? Yeah. Great. Guinea pig. Right. I'm doing it. This is the fresh installs room. So, yeah. I'm paying attention. And I have a I have a fresh install, so I'm hop. following along with I'm a blank site. Usually, freshly installing with Mac right now. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'll catch I'm, up. Right. All I you know I've opened this up. I like I said I lost everything, so I stuck. The only thing I've done was picking my uh, theme again, being 2012. But I don't need 2012 to be my theme or whatever. To tell, you know that. Yeah, the current. So the so this is where I'm like, okay, let's. You said there's a recommended theme. I want to get that. So yeah. That would, is that the next step? That is a step. Uh, I think, David, what is, the, what is the best sequence here? If you're starting from literal scratch, like... I'd say start with the plugins because you may want to adjust things right. and but, then decide on your theme. And then I'm going to capture a bunch of UX comments we don't need to discuss. Great. Yeah. Okay. Great. And so then we can... We can like, yeah. Already I am pissed off about the installation process because there's like three buttons to tell you to edit something and it's like... Yeah. Yeah. And again, I'm just letting you Fine. know that like I, I won't capture that. So, capture it. Yeah. Um, so like sort of like I have the, the plugin, nothing's happening. I don't know the next. What is the next step to make it go? Okay, the next step here would be. I, I'm on the plugins page by the way. Yeah. So let, on the well, why don't we just do this. at the same time then? Because yes. both of you are. Oh, okay, so you both have the plugin installed. I do. Right. Yes. And and I, okay, I'm on the install plugins page too. Okay. okay. Okay, there are a few things that are regrettably not documented, which if somebody could start documenting them. Probably would That's be better. a better idea. I will um, start in the Etherpad. Yeah. So the first one is that you should go to your profile under users. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, let's go to what the plugin actually does, and then we'll install yeah. additional plugins. So, so we're for, for notes, we started off with um, get WordPress installed, right? right? That's note. That's thing one. Right. Thing two is install Indie Web plugin. Yes. Okay. And then step three was what? Go to user. Yeah. Go to your profile under user. Okay. So one of the things that the Indie Web plugin does that is not properly documented at the moment is that it actually adds additional fields to your user profile that are used for authentication. Okay. So it adds various. So it adds things like a GitHub username, a Google Plus. So these are used in order to authenticate you to various. The Realm memes. The Realm memes. Oh, I see. So if you fill that in. So get, yeah, okay, so my GitHub username. Yeah, you, you don't have to fill them all in. Okay. Fill one in now. Uh, right. like, also, you you probably should if you want to make sure that you that your user is connected to your website, you probably should fill in your 
website under that category as and well. Does it matter if it's the or not? Uh, no. Good. Okay. It's basically what you want to share with people. So yeah, I, I prefer not. I think the is is old fashioned. So, um, yeah. So once you've done that and saved it, there are some other things, um, other categories in there like address and additional profile information that are not currently displayed anywhere. But okay. So so the, the key thing is to put in your your couple of accounts. Yes. Okay. Did That's that? The first key one. And is there a do you have to save or did it just auto update? You have to update is at the bottom. So, so that's the update yeah. Okay. So now that you have okay. that, Gene, are you good? So yeah, I just put in GitHub, Twitter, and Instagram username. So that's great. Okay. Facebook ID. Okay. Next. So if you go back to the indie web um, icon on the okay. screen and then options. I just update profile. So button. the indie web icon. Oh, there's not an indie web. I didn't even need to see that. Okay. Bear in mind the icon's wrong. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can we make For maximum any? fun. So Max, okay. no, it's, that's the open share icon. Um, we were trying to get somebody to actually do an indie web icon in that style. Yeah. It's that was sort of a placeholder until then. Okay. So go to indie web and then going to what? Getting started. Uh, options. Options. Notice, so, notice we have we haven't gotten to the getting started section yet. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's all text. Is actually. Oh, that's okay. why it has to be reorganized, and I'm agreeing with everyone. That's okay. Confusing. Okay. So this is the page that explains the feature that we are just setting up. Okay. So basically, using Realm me on a link indicates it represents the same person as the current page. Mm -hmm. So basically on any page with a single author, mm -hmm. which author being a WordPress term, Realm me appear on the home page. If it has multiple, it'll appear on the author page. So that's sort of the explanation of how it's set up. So, we, we can debate that later. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh -huh. So you, if you have a single author site, then mm -hmm. the box will be grayed out. Mm -hmm. I, cool. I, I, I sh like that the single author site should be grayed out? It should be basically not changeable if you don't have multiple authors on Got the it. site. It's yes. already de it will defaultly not let you change it unless you do have multiple authors. Got it. Got An it. author being defined as two different users who posted a post. That's Got how it. WordPress defines it. And then the one below, you can if you have set the user website URL, which is the one within your profile, mm -hmm. then it will replace the author page, which is the list of all your posts, with your website URL. Got it. So those are the only options in this particular plugin. Got it. Got it. And so I don't even have to save changes at this point. If all, if you're happy with the defaults. Got it. Okay. So now you have two choices. Right now, if you went to your homepage and viewed the source, those links are embedded, hidden in the page. If you actually want to show those links, you can do that under appearance slash widgets. So under appearance widgets. Okay. What widget do I want to change? Um, you would want to add the rel me widget. So there's a rel equals me widget, which Okay, and that which, which I, I assume is plugin added. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to just throw it into my sidebar for now just to see. Join the. So if you throw it into your sidebar and you set any of those sites, then now in your sidebar you should see icons on your actual site. You should see icons for it instead of hidden ones. So the idea here is we're adding the Realme widget to the sidebar of your page so that that always appears on your page. Well, if you don't add it, it will appear hidden. So it's always there. Got it. Regardless, once you've actually set them, it will appear. Okay. Uh, but if you haven't set them, then it will be basically hidden in the background. So no matter what, the markup is there, whether you see right. This is appearance. Which choice? Widgets. Widgets. And then you want to add oh, the rel equals new widget. So at this point, if I if I hit uh, I hit save and I go to my my site, it should should it should show right now. Yes. And I can show you an example. This is my site. Uh, the check boxes are added by Verify Me, which is a plugin. So mm -hmm. without the, it's a, it's a Chrome extension. Yeah, but sure enough, I got I have got GitHub, I've got Twitter, and I got Facebook. Um, and again, the the little uh, text uh, hover thing yeah. is that something that you guys did within the plugin that, did, that, did that can be disabled. And then, well, or let's let's just say that there's again exactly, right, yeah. UX comments uh, uh, side out. Okay, got it. Yeah. Basically, the idea was there's a visual version and a non-visual yeah. version, so it was okay. meant to be as simple as possible. But that can be enhanced. Got it. Um, so when I added those Realme things, that I just put in my username, and, and that's just accepted. It's, there's no verification process. Well, again, the verification process is done by third parties. Well, so well, me is based on the idea. You're saying that this other side is also me. That's your declarative statement. But in order for it to work in the community, they'll go to that site and see is there a link back to your website. Yeah. So oh, okay. Has to okay. Be a so eventually, for the well, to work for us, you have to go to all of your silos that you've linked to and have a link back to you. 
on your domain. So that's what interesting. Domain. In GitHub, I don't think I have a link back to me. But there's actually a check. Okay. Somebody wrote this plugin. You see the checks by my, this is the same version here. Yeah. Those checks are put in dynamically by a plugin I think Kevin Marks wrote. Yeah. That basically, anytime you go to a site, will basically go out and verify the Realme links. And, yeah. check and by the way, nothing will break if you don't have this set up. It's just something that won't work until well, you like fix it. For example, I still can't edit the IndieWeb wiki. Right. To put in my event. Correct. Because exactly. I didn't know how to do this part. But the positive but thing is, you just gave yourself the, you just gave yourself the ability to edit the wiki because now India will work. Well, assuming she has the link set up in the back. She has no real. She has no Romy links. That that. Those well, no, she has them. They, she has them on her page she now. Has to go but back she doesn't have them on the silos. She has so to link back. You have to go to your GitHub account and right. put in a, a basically a URL back to your site so that yeah. it'll be verified. Yeah, that should be heavily built. Yeah. Yeah. This is sort of like the this is the bit where everyone falls over, and, and including like because I mean, GitHub it's like hidden away here, like all over the place. Yeah. Like they're, they're just trying to do fifteen times. Yeah. The problem was how to actually put that training inside the. That's either on a external I think website or inside it's the It's going to need at some, what it should do in this wizard we've been talking about. All this stuff should yeah. just happen in the wizard, and it should say, "Do you have a GitHub? Enter it." And it's like, "Cool, thank you." Oh, by the way, click here to go and edit your profile to add a link back. Oh, cool. Check. And then it goes to the next step. Like, it should be blockers. And that's the part that we need help. Yeah, right? we'll get there, right? But for now, let's, just, we're getting little taps on these things. It that we, you know, we did this real me thing, but it's only one side of it because it's not, I don't know what Somebody write down one more that. note for me since I'm the one doing the documenting. There's a library that allows you to go and verify Realme links. Maybe it should be incorporated into the plugin so we can check to make sure that you did it correctly. Oh, absolutely. And then provide links to the, the page. So there's the, there's the, the what we'll call the wizard. And then also there's just some of the plugin can just say, oh, by the way, it's broken yeah. now. Go fix it. Yeah. So, yeah. Which is basically, it just occurred to me, there actually is a way to do it. We have, so, oh, I forget what the library is, but somebody wrote a library to do that. A little so, pop. Like, so for example, like, I'm going to, to uh, GitHub right now and just see. Oh, yeah, two back authentication. <laughs> and there is, and this is part of the um, the Indie the, the Indie Web website has this thing where it's like Indie Five, Indie Webify Me, or Which something is like a that. A checker. Exactly, and that will just check you, and it'll tell you, oh, it looks like you declared yourself this, but you don't have a link back, and so it'll tell you all the things yeah, that aren't. Yeah. So the choice is either we we have a website that is linked to from the plugin, which may be a more universal solution rather than having a built in for plug in. Right. But, but, but if I can say I think we're very we're going yeah, to the mode. I still want to make sure we get into the, yeah. the, everything else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, we got well, to, yeah. so we said that options was our next step and we just did them. So let's move to under any web extensions. They're technically plugins, but it may actually be better to call them that. But. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm not going not to appearance, but to the indie web or the extensions. Uh, okay, we got it. Okay. So these are a list of basically plugins that enable additional functionality. So I'll, that's why it's somewhat limited. It's basically just all this information and the descriptions are being pulled from the WordPress repository. Okay. So that's why they're not customized here. But. Yeah. So. Okay. These are each, you can think of each of these plugins. So right now they're named after the protocol or the thing that they're doing, not the feature that they enable, which is right. a little bit problematic, oh, yeah. right? Because if you're a user, you don't know what web mention is. Yeah, right? admittedly, the description, That's okay. the descriptions should be changed for the WordPress.org repository also. Right, right. But whatever, you're going to want to turn basically all of these things on. Um, but there's also kind of a minimum set of things that you should. Well, let's go, have. let's go in some sort of order. Okay. So the first one there is web mention. Mm -hmm. So that basically is the web mention protocol by itself. Right. So let's go installing them one by one. Yeah. Okay. Great. So if you install that plugin, it'll ask you, do you want to install it? That uses, again, with everything built in. Or, I'm yeah. sorry. How are you doing this one by one? Uh, well, no. Go to extensions. This is extensions. In the web, web. Started. extensions. Yeah. Uh, so once you install and activate uh, that. Yep. Yeah. The settings for here, um, and this one I would like to move somewhere else, are under settings and then discussion. They're in the existing WordPress settings page. They're not, they don't have their own page. All right, so there's more details is, is, a, is a bad direction. I have to like, I have to leave this page to go set web mentions. Yes. Okay. Could, would That's it make, I'm going one by one. I, I, yeah. I, would it be the kind of thing you would tell people today to just say install, 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 install? 
Yes, basically install all the ones you want and then do the settings, which we can do. I just want it sort of I think it's, methodically. Yeah, let's go methodically. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm sorry, I'm with you. And is there any reason you wouldn't click activate after you've clicked install now? Uh, no, but that's the way WordPress sets it up. Okay, so that's, that's fine. That's I just outside wanna, of the indie web What do I want to tell people? It's like, because they'll be yeah. like, I stop when I see something. Yeah. Because I'm like, uh, okay, uh, why wouldn't I? Okay. My hope is that this is something that Manton's going to document in his book. <laughs> So now if you go into settings and then discussion. Um, settings, discussion. Um, so, and then if you scroll down, there is a web mentioned setting section. Um, settings, not general, but discussion. Okay. discussion. Okay. Then we're going to. You're going to scroll down to web mentioned settings. settings. Web mentioned settings. Got so it. These are the options for the web mentioned plugin. Got it. Now, some of the other plugins will move their options under any web if the indie web plugin is installed and keep them somewhere else if they aren't. But Mm -hmm. um, doesn't right now. I'm sorry, I, got, I missed a step somewhere. So yeah, you, I clicked on more details from mentions. Yeah, that, mentions? that takes okay. you to the to the basically the, the plugin repository page okay. from WordPress. So you, if you go back, yeah, you don't want oh, to be there. I don't want to be there. Okay. Yes. But okay. you want you want to do, and we all know this is a problem. You no, need, I, I'm not complaining. Need, I just well, want to keep you, up. You, you yeah. got to basically go to the WordPress dashboard. Left hand side underneath tools is settings and underneath that uh, is, is discussion. Okay. And discussion at the bottom is web mention settings and what okay. you're telling me is the defaults are probably reasonable. Uh, yes. Except for the last one. No home page mentions. So home page mentions basically if somebody mentions your domain without any any sub page, mm -hmm. where to redirect those? Because WordPress right. doesn't allow comments on the home page. Right. So it basically is a pull down where you would specify an actual page to send them to. Okay. Um, but now I would just, I have an about Scott page, so I'll yeah, just so if you, you would redirect it there. So anybody who mentioned your top level site mm -hmm. would have all of those mentions directed mm -hmm. to that page. Okay. So but this is the starting... feature that um, I think was being discussed yesterday that um, I think it was Lily who didn't know that we added it in one day mm -hmm. because we haven't been properly blogging when we mm -hmm. actually add little features. And if you're starting from scratch, you don't have about Scott yet. Well, okay, if you have, yeah. I have an existing. But yeah. I know, but the, so you'd want to create I, I look page. and I'm like, it says that no home page mentions or sample page. Should I just leave it alone for now for and now, remember but, to come back? Yeah, basically, so you create an about or another page yeah. of that nature. And, and, and you don't really lose anything if you don't have that. Yeah. It'll just reject those. Yeah, it'll mentions. just be like, I don't know what to do with those mentions. So. It'll, it'll basically return them to the site and say, there's no, nothing's available for this. Okay. 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 So let's go back to the other options on the extensions page, which are the other plugins that could be installed. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going, again, these are sort of an order of popularity to some degree. Yeah. Uh, semantic link backs makes web mentions look nice. Okay. That is the simplest way of doing it. Uh, Matthias is a bit reluctant sometimes to write the copy because um, English isn't his first language. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the descriptions reflect that. Right. So install now. So yes. for, for all those present and listening or whatever, the idea here is web mentions plugin enables your website to receive web mentions, which is basically, I am commenting on your stuff from my site, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's going to look ugly. Yeah. Unless you enable semantic link backs, yes. which then I'm assuming will actually go back and hit the sending pages website uh, to get the... Not retroactively. Not retroactively, going but, but going forward. When you receive a web mention, someone is saying, I am, this is no. me, no. and it's going to use your H card and all that stuff on your website. It'll to make pull. everything right. It'll make it gorgeous. And it also does ping backs and track backs if right. you happen to still like those. Right. Um, there's still a long-standing proposal to merge those two because people don't realize that the presentation portion of the actual protocol are two separate plugins. Sure. But there's a whole long story I'm not getting into. Right. Uh, so yeah, 19 there are no there are no settings for semantic link backs. Got it. Not yeah. a single setting for it. Yeah. It just works. Great. Micropub. So Micropub is a publishing platform. It also has no settings. If you install it. You've activated the ability to publish to your site using Microphone. That's all it does. Well, I mean, I, I'm not quite sure what that means, but it sounds like I'll just do it. Yeah. Right. Basically, if you have a Micropub client, it can publish to WordPress. So it adds support for publishing from a bunch of different tools that you can use, like like Microsoft Blog or something. Exactly. Um, right. And uh, Quill and um, a lot of Aaron Berkey stuff. Like um, he has okay. one that yeah. does Got food it. and everything else. Got it. Okay. So you you want this? Yeah, yeah. I do. Okay. It's there. It's activated. No seconds again. Okay. Both kinds. Postkind has a lot of settings. I'm sorry. So Postkind basically... Would that be the next thing that they want to do or... Well, right now I'm going through them just, just in order. order. Okay, that's fine. So 
post kinds basically allows you to post different types of posts. They're called kinds because Wait, so like I can post an event or whatever. Uh, yeah. Well, event isn't in there yet, but theoretically it was. Right. Right. So I'm just going to say install and activate it, and I will. We'll go through the. There's a list here. Yeah. So once you activate that, it adds another option to the Indie Web menu, which is the post guides. So if you reload oh, the menu. Oh, I, I do see that. So the plugin is programmed to add that there. Otherwise, it goes somewhere else. So anytime. And, and this is what we talked yesterday, where, where the, 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 the installation thing can say, what things do you want to have in your blog site, and how do you want to display them? Yeah, right. You know, and again, we won't go into it. So this page tries to be as descriptive as possible as to what kinds there are. So these are all the ones that the plugin officially supports. Right. So you can decide which ones you're going to enable. Right. Enabling just means they'll be shown. If you had one, if you turn one off, it doesn't hide the display of all of them. Mm -hmm. This is just what will be in your menu when you actually try to create. Right. A post. So this will enable you to be like, you know what? I want to create a RSTP for going to something, or I want to create a watch mm -hmm. record saying, oh, I just watched this thing. Right. Right. Um, Got it. So it depends on what you want yeah. to put on. And the default, it does have a same default. By default, it's article, bookmark, uh, reply, right. and note can't be disabled. It's the only option that, so there has to be at least one. Right. So, sorry, where did you, where are you now? Indie under, web and under, post times. Well, did you activate the post times? Yeah. Okay. Then if you hit Indie web, okay. then you should see an option under it that says post times. Uh -huh. So here's you deciding what type of site you actually want. Do you want a site that primarily posts notes? Do you want a site that primarily posts articles? That's the default um, kind. The, yeah. yeah. So you have default. And bear in mind, if you activate additional kind, they'll show up as an option under the default. Good. So you're deciding what you want as a default and what you want to show. So that's this there. But as I click them, they don't show up automatically. I have to refresh the page, I assume. Yes. OK, that's a UX issue, but go ahead. Yeah, it's certainly fixable. But yeah. I just added the screen because somebody commented they didn't understand what the kinds were for. So the yeah. screen was sort of an attempt to. No, no, I totally get it. Yeah. OK, so, so there are two other options here. Uh, one of them I really hate. Um, the next one is use rich embed support for responses to whitelisted sites. Yeah, the description needs to change. Yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I know. Um, basically, that's if you want to use WordPress's embed feature. So if you link to a something on Twitter, it will embed the, the Twitter thing instead right. of using. Oh, it's the, using like OMO embed built-in embed support right. for WordPress. Okay, sounds like. I would never want to turn that off. But, yeah. uh, there are people who prefer the native presentation, which is basically the, the one. There's that JavaScript is, that is involved with OMED. Yeah, so some people prefer mine, which is basically a local right. display. Okay. People that can figure this out would care to turn this off. Correct. Most yeah. per, most people want this on. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The final one is a feature that I hate. I put it in because somebody asked me to, and I actually put in their advanced feature. I don't use it. Disable case, I, whatever. Yeah, I, 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 I'm trying to figure out a way to explain what, where to hide an, an advanced feature that only one person I know uses. But or I maybe you should get rid of it. Yeah, they I can work the plugin. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's can, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 I'm this close to putting in, or not features anymore. Yeah, I'm this that's close to just putting in a flag that will hide it for everybody except him. Yeah, yeah. 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 the moral equivalent of the salesperson asking you to put a feature. You know, no, 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 yeah. Okay, next. So we go back. Yeah. And there are a few more here. The next one is syndication links. So you can install and activate that one, and then another settings option will appear under the Indie Web. Okay. So that it will be called syndication links, hopefully. So this is the configuration page for syndication links where it is described, adds optional links for various sites. It's the act of posting. So it doesn't actually post. It displays things that have been posted to other sites by other plugins. So it's basically a helper. Right. Uh, explain so, what that does one more time. Okay. So you have an, a plugin that allows you to post all of your posts to Twitter. Uh -huh. Just use it as an example. Right. It pulls back the link to Twitter and displays it on the post. Got it. So it supports a bunch of other plugins out of the box. Other plugins have been nice enough to add support. So okay. they, they, so either way. Again, it sounds to me like defaults are, are perfectly fine. Yeah. So there's a bunch there. You can see you don't really. They're all visual. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Back to extensions. Yes. Gene, how are you feeling? Yeah. So then we get to the Bridge Republish plugin. Now this is basically just an interface for the Bridge website. Mm -hmm. 
So all it does is make it easier for you to use Bridgie to publish. And it works with syndication links, so if you publish something using that plugin, it will automatically send the data to the other plugin and display. Got it. I mean, sort of got it. But what is Bridgie? Bridgie is a service that Ryan has created um, that allows you to, if you've taken a post and syndicated it off to, say, Twitter, mm -hmm. and someone replies to it on Twitter, mm -hmm. that will come back as a web mention to your original post. So it allows you to extend out to the other social networks. So basically, you create a post, the syndication link is added by the syndication links plugin. Bridgie can now see the posts are in both places or something like that. Yes. And then it, it does the magic, right? So if somebody replies to you on Twitter, that gets added as a web mention. So, it's, so the published plugin cool. is basically a user interface to interface with another site. It doesn't do anything by itself. Yeah, it just, yeah. And in fact, you don't need Bridgie Publish on at all for Bridgie to work. And in yeah. fact, turning on Bridgie Publish also won't cause Bridgie to work. Um, you need to actually go through and set up. Well, registry. that's why I wanted to talk to Ryan about setting up a registration process and turning the Bridgie Publish plugin into just Bridgie, Bridgie plugin. Make Bridgie go, which is what it should be. Yeah. Okay. And so then, then that's the next question is now that I see Bridgie Publish now shows up on the indie web icon, um, do I need to do anything to make it go? Yes. You need to sign up for a Bridgie account, which needs to be explained in the plugin, which is not fair. Okay. So the only thing at this point is to go to Bridgie.org or something? Uh, Brid, Brid dot G Y. B R I D dot G Y. Actually, years ago, I may have actually done this already. So and if I go, you are already signed up, find your user page there. It's at the bottom. Yeah. Or and it doesn't really matter. It'll find you either way. Find Once you, you if you try to register again, it'll say you already have something. Right. It, you don't want to do that. That's okay. gonna kill you. Go, go do it the other way. <laughs> Trust me. So we just, but, to so make it easier, just click on one of the things you want to connect with. This is my Twitter on, page uh, on Bridget. So I pulled up my And that will essentially redirect your user page. So this is the user page for Twitter. Each service has a user page. Org. Right. So what so it says is here, here so it's pulling back it now. pulled 20 hours ago. It's going to pull again. So yes, you already did have that found a link to my But now it's found it again, and now it's going to start pulling again. Because what happened is because you stopped doing it, so it probably stopped checking your site. But now you have to reset. So now I can tell it to publish something here. You're good to go. And here you can see right here. It thanked me for a month ago. Matthias here thanks me for releasing a new version. These are all mentioned to me. These are things that happen to my site, but I didn't see the page. Now what it's doing is it's looking for web mentions. So I can hit reply and it will work. Probably if you got a reply, and that was to a post that you had originally raised on the website instead of on Twitter. So basically. Right, and syndicated to Twitter, those would be pulled back to your web mentions. These are fine. Exactly. Which is good, though, but now you know it's working. Excellent. Okay. So if I go back to my site now, and I should. And by the way, I went to GitHub, and sure enough, I actually put my site. Um, I'm sorry, I put my site website. But if I actually went to my website, website. So, right. it's coming back. To I actually now had set up much of this on back in 2014 on that page. Okay. Okay, I don't yet, but we'll get that to Okay. So we're getting close to being done with the installation. Yes. Um, and again, I don't, just to make an opinionated comment, I would argue all of this could have been turned on. I mean, all these could have been installed. Yeah. All these could have been done. And mm -hmm. all the defaults could have been fine. And I think I'd be up and running. The only issue is through the Bridgie account, honestly. Yeah. yeah. We were discussing this morning, the installer that we used, we were discussing basically asking for additional features and doing PRs upstream so that we could actually do it. Yeah. yeah. So we've been discussing how that would work. Yeah. I do think, here's the thing. All of it, it's all there. It all works. If yeah. the onboarding process is too hard. Yes. So we've talked about this. It's going to be fine. Yeah. We'll we'll get, we'll get. Visual display was attempted. You, you saw the old ones. Okay. The hard part's done, though, yeah. right? Yeah. The hard I want to done. say, like, the Bridgie page for somebody who doesn't know what it is or what they're supposed to do. There's nowhere that says sign up for an account. Right. It's just saying connect to one of your accounts, and Agreed. then you have one. Yeah. Right. right. Um, Ryan's feedback. Okay. Yes. Good feedback for Ryan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ryan that's his I, I just, just I'm, I'm more, like, not criticizing, just Am I right that I didn't? I don't need to go to something. There's yeah. nothing that says because you said, "Oh, I already have an account." I thought, "Oh, well, I know I don't because yeah, I've never even heard of it until this weekend." And so. it's not really a, an account. Yeah. It's more of a you cash sign, <laughs> all, all it really is is it. It's it's just a connection, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's, you're telling. So the first one I should do is connect, add web mentions to WordPress.com. Well, no, uh, you're are you on .com or .org? So dot com is, is WordPress.com's WordPress .com. .com. 
their that's their free service. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. So you can connect to there because they won't let you install web mentions. So I they've see. come up with he's come up with a back end way okay. of using Bridgy. So to really what you're, them over. you're doing is saying you have your web website. Which services would you like to connect to your website? Okay. And you're gonna say, I would like Twitter. I would like Facebook. I would like whatever. No, 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 okay, no. so where are we then? Are we, are we almost done? Well, the last one is the theme. Well, hey, you got it. Yeah. So now that you have everything, because after you install your theme, you may want to fiddle with hot looks. Right. So you have your theme wise, you have a few choices. As I said, the most popular two are independent publisher or SEMPRESS. Right. For right. microformats. And so I did SEMPRESS. Yeah, I suggest SEMPRESS just because it does. Its support is complete. Yeah. Just for getting started. Yes. Yeah. Independent publishers per year. But yeah. SEMPRESS is. Yeah. You can you can also style it. Not and easy. the developer the developer are, are interested. Yes. Which is the, that's the most yes. important thing to me. People who are interested in being involved. Right. So once you do that, you have a theme that is now microformat to sure. compliant. Right. Theme. How are you? So now you can start well, putting in things um, like nothing's happening right now. Post no, pictures. Oh. Like, I wouldn't worry about breaking. No, it's I'm not. You're I'm just, trying to get a few. I wonder if the wireless. It says new post, post media link page user. No, that it would have always said. Sorry, that it would have always said that's built as a post. I'm going to so how do I make a new note or a new photo? Look under post. One of the so posts. Those two no, things are going to be your best. I probably I could add as that many of them. I'm not saying you have to. I was no, saying yeah, not, not a bad idea, but it would yeah. be a cluttered one. Okay, so add. Okay, now I have to say the post. Side. Oh, over here on the side. Yeah, now the, that's post format, which is built into SEMPRESS. If you scroll down, you'll Category. see kinds. Category kinds. Yeah, you can move it up if you want. Yeah. But those are the four default yeah. times so that were set up. And I actually added a photo, so I, I guess I was just playing around. Yeah, yeah. so that would allow. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Now cool. the interface so I for. Go to add new, right? uh, no, you can search. Uh, oh, yeah, you do want to go to add new. I'm sorry. Again, the limitation of display. And then. So that's really interesting. For, so I can have. Uh, so there's SEMPRESS and independent. I can color. have an S image S format S art article and an image format that's a photo. Uh, there it is. Well, right there. Post formats are a built in WordPress property. Yeah. It can be turned on or turned off. No, it's semantic. Yeah. Post kinds are right. an add on. Also, could be theme, a theme could support them, a theme could ignore them, but they should work with it. Right? I just, I'm trying to get around the idea that if I do decide to start doing so Instagram like your site. where I want to post a whole series of photos, oh, right. should I care you go to about well, that's formats? Thing yes. Well, um, no, so because like post kinds right is backwards Fine. compatible. It will in the background. If you select photo, it will one. set the yeah, post format in out. case your theme supports yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. and independent publisher. So it does that. You could basically just hide that box completely and it will set, set it for you based on the other word. Okay, and that sounds to me like an important thing to tell people, which is to say, if you're going to do this, we're taking care of all the formatting for you. So use kinds, not well, format. Yeah, and the other alternative is for me to force hide the box myself. Well, it, again, good. at this point, I want to understand. Yeah, suggest. And right. so, um, I think it's my favorite of the two. Sempress is probably more. Uh, so what you can do is basically whatever. drag the box up to the top for it and drag. Format, but yeah. This is right. and you, you can, can hide the other box. Well, and so and to are, remember this, I'm now going really to really print really. screening it so that I can um, talk to people about this later and say, at the very least. What you should probably do, and I don't know if you can do this, uh, is to so um, hide under web or collapse. Kind. I can have. You can. So well, if you look at like the top, there's a screen the option. Type of things that you're planning on all the way up. So photos, and it allows you to selectively like hide any box. Um, I can put the description those to favorite. Just turn off the box. I well. For it just as I said, it's the uh, question of opinion. Uh, being opinionated great. about your well thing. Right. Right. Like, I mean, they're all you can post this for now. Yeah. It's 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 step one was to understand that boxes. not really, really using no. kinds. You in, when fun. you're creating a yes. post, you do that on the admin, you get the ability yeah. to oh, say, okay. you basically just say, then, oh, at this point, I'm good, process. right? I just do. Uh, and yeah. I now, the other part yeah, of it yeah, is, if you are doing something that involves a URL, for example, a reply or a bookmark, then there's another box. Right? So you could say, this box here, if you scroll down, post properties, which actually lets you set the properties of the post. Right. Um, so this is the one that's added. So if you put in, a, if you want to reply to a URL, sure. you would put it in that box. How did you do that? What does it mean to reply to a URL? Well, let's say, for example, um, we'll use Twitter. Nine, so, uh, this is where I get a little bit. You want to reply to a tweet. Mm -hmm. So you would basically hit the reply yeah, button, and it would generate a reply to the this URL. Standard here. You have to put in what where 
if you want to reply to another website or even Twitter itself. So let's say you wanted to reply to a post on his site. Mm -hmm. You'd have to give your site the URL that you were applying to. How do you choose the post kind when you're creating a post? Uh, you scroll down. It's at the bottom. Uh, okay. We just we just had this conversation. Uh, Perfect. Uh, so yeah, you can choose what kind of post. Uh, so exactly. if I and when you when you add when you choose a post, so so let's, let's say let's say for example, example I, I, I'm going to add an option Twitter, for you, and I see a, a tweet from you, it was a reply to, to it, that, right? Then I don't know what happens. But you, like, you can. Um, and but so the, my the recommendation actually is to have to get the link from the Twitter. You go to um, because we have microcub enabled. Yeah, you tab. Okay. That's a problem. Or a new window, whatever yeah, you're working on. Yeah. Yeah. Quill. Dot P three. But here's a link that I just happen to have. This is the article I was referencing earlier. There you go. Right. So I'm just going to copy the link uh, and put it into this box. Okay. Actually, right. right. I'm going to go up here and just say that I'm reply as opposed to. Right. Uh huh. So now below uh, that is a button mark retrieve. Yeah. All that does is like close out his site, and for whatever reason, he's having trouble mm. right now. I may not have figured something correctly, but and basically tries to fill in all these other boxes from what he parts. I've said to people on WordPress, and I'm kind of like, yeah, you're. Yeah, exactly. And I've but set this, myself so this up. Is really handy and I can, this is where you can start to find your indie article. So this is and you're going to use the Realme link I just on your site. So just put your site in your domain like, here. Like you said, put the URL in, it gets all the data, and I just say, you know, article. Yeah, there you go. Right. But sign in. Yeah, what basically. Do is it's and it, it tries, that button just basically tries so to find all cool. the information so it can display your reply. There's your microphone. I'm going to show you an example. On Twitter, what I do is that's basically just giving you the authorization. I go to Twitter, I just now it's going to have it, and I say, awesome. Is it's it's um, yeah. Look at your Realme's. Okay. Some of the technology okay. for doing okay. it all for you. Which one of these things would you like to problem that we're working on? Well, because okay. GitHub one's be working. You have yeah, it has your, to work with everything, um, so we have a connection. That's okay. Because you can just use your GitHub as a community. Yeah, exactly. Twitter only supports Twitter. Once you do it once, it's safe. No, no, but I can link to your website. But here's an example of what. Here's me. This is a bookmark. Replies and bookmarks are similar, just intent. So here I am, bookmark. And then you're set, so mm -hmm. say continue. So there, and I do a bookmark. And now you can use Quill, mm -hmm. which I bookmarked it, and it pulled all this information on it. Notes, bookmarks, favorites. Determine the name of the site. Stuff. So determine the author. If it can't, apply. you notice here's you one where it used the domain. Post on my site, right. and it will so basically, it yeah. got a summary so directly yeah. from the article. The whole idea is basically it fills in the box for you. Or if you have them personally, on them. there are boxes there you can fill them in. But I think what I would argue here yeah. is and we've got layers make of that users. users. So I would argue that, that if all I did, all we did for the here, piece that Gen 2 users is you can and it's make a blog post, actually checking it, but you can cool. cross link to Twitter and say, Facebook. Uh, and it looks like it was a lot of fun or whatever. Yeah. Take that part out of it. I can. To me, that is a complete nice package. Which we have. We just have to refine it. The cool thing is just the next step is to say now to increase the richness of what you're posting. But to me, that would be a, a, a step to take the most. That makes sense. Yeah. Right. And, and so what, what I like about this is you're having this conversation. Unauthorized. I don't know why. I just want people to get excited about the fact that they can post whatever they want. Oh, uh, well tempered and versus WWW. Um, yeah, so, so have everything in our And not only uh, that, this is even if a, they can do it directly on the website as well. Exactly. Not just the website. Twitter. Go to panel.sandwich.com. Well, I was referring to the fact like if you were just simply a broadcaster, I'm going to basically. Write something I'm going to push to these things. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's it's the positive. Nice. Exactly. Uh, then that means I'm not. Now, that to me is step one because it means well, I am owning my content well, yeah, and I'm I working with the existing other sources the out there. Day. Now, when you said go to blog posts, I want to use. In that case, let's say, no worries, I find the blog post you write. When you're ready, let's go. And I want to reply to That to me is a very step now because on your website, I assume. There's nothing there. You may not have comments. So, in which case, in that case, I would. So my take the URL, create a reply on my site, and the wonder of it is that the other sites, of course, what mentions the reply will and be automatically to, like, picked up and posted on their version. So right now, he could post something on his site, send me, marked up as a reply, mm -hmm. sent to my site as a web mention, and my site would automatically, using the web mentions and the impacts plugin, Parse that and it would show up. So, the one that I made up an example. Um, so, so he, okay, so from a your point of view, what I'd like to have is yeah, I've got a question for you. if yeah. your site is indie and my site is indie, yes. the miracle is that we each post applies to each other. Yes. And he just walked me through how to make a reply. Great. And as the New York person in me died. So, <laughs> here, yes. here's an example. 
This yeah. is pulled back. So these ones came from Bridgie. So this one came from. No, no, I totally get yeah, that part. Soul. This because is why I was showing Gene how to do it. Right. Well, so easier. what I was assuming would be like to have is I'm going to read your blog post, uh -huh. uh, which maybe I even pulled from Twitter, and I'm right. reading it, and I go, "This is awesome," and I'd like there to be like a reply button. I click the reply. I assume it throws me over to my site with everything filled out. I kind of go, "Awesome." Yes, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, it's so, a problem the community is working on. For once they figure out a way to do it, we can. Incorporated, yeah. but we haven't figured out a way to There isn't a, uh, so when you click reply, we have one happy way that we did it. There are ways, yes. So Aaron actually has an interesting way he does it on his website, um, which is essentially giving you, he, his view of the problem is essentially write a reply on your site and, you, and it'll tell you to paste your link back in when you're done, right? Or if you support web mention, it'll automatically work if you paste it in here. So it's more of like an instructive way than like an actual click in an automated way. Um, You're talking about the, the form of the bug? Yeah. Uh, we have it. Yeah. We ha it's the same thing that can be done in, in we, we, it we doesn't work on notes. And see, so what I'm looking for is effectively a gateway drug. In other words, yeah. can we have effectively a form and a button that you put in that anybody can type in? Yeah. And if you don't have it in your website, something reasonable happens. Yeah. But if you do have it in your website, the right thing happens. The answer to that is we should do that. And because then right. it's just simply like an awesome, and I, I, I can hit go, and it just, just right. you know. Now I understand I'm probably reaching a little bit now. No, no, you're not. I think it's a totally logical thing. But to me, it's 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 definitely a Gen 2 problem, right? And so what I'm kept, what we were talking about now was, to me, the very first circle is I've identified my site, I can publish to other people, and I can get comments back. That's actually pretty good. That's, That's great. It's a tight little circle, and if we automate what we have today, that's all possible. Yeah. Right. So that part to me is awesome and very, very trackable. Step two mm -hmm. is this kind of yeah. how do I go site yeah. to site? And let's just call that kind of a late 2017. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. But at least now we can, what I'd like to then do is make sure that we talk about that as a value prop. Yeah. Make sure that's on the new web page and then deliver that quick, as quickly as possible and not have them do more than we're ready to have them do right. easily, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So I think what I'm trying to do is to say there's a subset of Gen 2 we're defining here. Yep. And that seems like pretty straightforward. It's awesome. Great. Hello, David. All right. I think we're out of time. Yes, we are. So um, we're four minutes. Past but, Jane, when you're ready. But, I've got it. I don't know how. So. Okay. <laughs> so, so, like another area. The, the biggest issue for me right now is that there's, yeah, there's there very all. little that I see on my website that reflects that I didn't think. Yeah, yeah and that's, it's a, it's that a minimalist. It's a minimalist design philosophy. And we've been gradually pulling away from it because we've been a little more.